Good afternoon, sir. My name is Praful Bele and I am from collegedunia.com. Very warm welcome to you on our interview series which is called Thoughts on Education where we interview various dignitaries such as the owners, directors, faculties of various universities and colleges. Before starting the interview, I would request you to kindly give a brief introduction of yourself and then we'll proceed ahead with the interview. Sir. Okay. Uh, thanks, Praful. Thanks for uh, coming here. My name is Vijendra Shekhawat and uh, I am an NSS program officer in this college and uh, I also take care of the Department of Biotechnology and I teach plant sciences and plant biotechnology mainly. Uh, and uh, apart from this, my main responsibility in this college is as an NSS program officer. So, so you have held various key positions at different educational institutes throughout a professional career. What keeps you connected with the educational sector and how has your experience been so far with RD National College? So the, uh, the, the sole objective of education is not only limited to imparting education or giving degrees. Uh, one of the major responsibility of any educational institute is to prepare good citizens of the country. Uh, having, uh, you know, students having good empathy, caution and good social inclination. And if we are able to address all those things, I, I think that objective of uh, any institute will be met and uh, it will be successful in achieving its objective. So if uh, education is not uh, without, education is without empathy, it won't uh, help us to produce good citizens or to prepare, uh, you know, good human beings. Therefore. Uh, it's very important and that is what NSS is doing and uh, what keeps me connected is that every year we prepare 100, 150 students. Uh, we also try to uh, inculcate empathy as well as we try to inculcate uh, the, the abilities and skills required to become good community workers, good community leaders and uh, many things like that. When students go and work with community, they learn not only uh, what is the community composition, how it drives your thought process, and what are the needs where youth can participate and can uh, improve the things. So these are the things, you know, it gives me a good platform to, uh, to not only facilitate so many things, but also to make sure that youth are directly participating in community service. And in RD National College, you know, the institutional social responsibility is a flagship component and we carry out a number of activities where students directly participate, they design projects and they also uh, carry out a number of, uh, you know, significant activities directly impacting, in, impacting the life of uh, people at the fringes of college in our adopted areas, etc. So sir, like, do you have any extra co-curricular activities or programs which enhance the skills of the students or expose them to the real-world challenges? So the NSS uh, offers a number of activities uh, like blood donation camps, blood pulse polio immunization, leadership training programs, national level camps like national integration camp, national republic day, parade camp and there are many such activities which students carry out regularly and uh, they, they ensure they, all these activities are designed in such a manner that they ensure 360 degree or holistic development of the student. We have also adopted uh, one village that is called Pansa, it is in Raigad, it's a tribal village and uh, every year we organize three rural residential camps in these villages which help students to exercise their thought process, whatever community service uh, skills they have acquired you know, in order to address problems, rural problems especially to farmers, villagers, uh, women and there are so many other programs which help students to grow as good city. Sir, how is the stance of RD National College like into the mainstream schemes for students' participation into inter uh, institutional and social responsibilities. Uh, National college students are always at the forefront, and uh, uh, 
in last three years, two of our students have gone to National Republic Day Parade at New Delhi. And college also won best college, best NSS unit award in 1617. And there are many other uh, things like governor honored our college for its COVID works, we, we works. We worked in uh, providing education, we facilitated, facilitated or supplied for people the teaching aids required during COVID times. So there are many other things which we have been doing. And I think uh, the National College has its own niche if, if we talk about uh, a relative position of the college, then I think the college is one of the best colleges as far as NSS is concerned and other institutional social responsibilities are concerned. Sir, what are the instruments ID National College adapts to inculcate social responsibilities among students? Uh, sir, we have national service scheme, then we have uh, foundation course program, then we have uh, one uh, RD National College level project club and each department also organize uh, department level fest where social work and community service is an essential component. So overall, you know, it offers a great opportunity to all its students to work for the community they live in and also uh, you know, they are able to make themselves well versed and acquainted with the prevalent problems of country, what are the possible solutions. They, they not only lead them, but they exercise them to some extent uh, to learn that how these problems in our country can be addressed. Sir, what are the major social activities Adi National College is doing for community development and social service? There are uh, many flagship programs, like we have one program where we have adopted uh, 13 schools in tribal area where every year we provide uh, the children with school bags and stationery required for their studies. Uh, we also uh, made a provision of uh, potable water in our adopted village. Uh, we, are also, we have adopted one orphanage also where every month we provide required grocery, stationery and other needs and blood donation camp I think last year we have collected around 2000 units of blood and the pulse polio immunization every year uh, we reach more than 10 15,000 children in Bandra and Nandevi areas and we give them pulse polio dose. Swachh Bharat Abhiyan is another flagship, uh, flagship activity of ours. Then we have adopted uh, Bandra Fort for our heritage conservation program. There are many such programs around uh, uh, five themes we have selected and there are around 60 domains in which we are working and that encompasses I think all the prevailing problems in, the, in our country. And besides this we also try to inculcate soft skills among our volunteers and students so that they are prepared for various challenges in their life. Sir, any suggestions you would like to give to the current youth and the aspiring students? The thing is that education and social service should go hand in hand because uh, if you are uh, nicely educated and you are not having empathy, then probably it will be very difficult for you to understand uh, what sort of education is actually required, how to devise, design your ideas to make our society better and how to contribute nation's progress. Therefore, it is very important that uh, besides education, the student should be prepared on uh, their social responsibility and the skills required to address various social and community problems. Now, if, if, if you talk about RD National College, I think uh, the ISR uh, is, is a flagship program here. We give it special attention and we make sure that in three years, we provide sufficient number of activities so that students are prepared well for, the, uh, for their responsibility towards the country and the community they live in. Sir, it was a pleasure having you on our interview series that is Thoughts in Education. I thank you on behalf of our college junior team. We wish you good luck for your future endeavors. Thank you, sir. I also thank you, Prafull and college junior. Thank you, sir.